Let's make a big cloud today. How can I do that? I will pour hot water into this pot. Boiling water goes in. Now, what I have in this container is liquid nitrogen, which is basically liquefied air. It is crazy cold. It is a temperature that is 400 Fahrenheit, colder than temperature of your skin. You have to be well trained to work with liquid nitrogen. Now, what do you think will happen if I pour liquid nitrogen in hot water? Are you ready? Three, two, one. Isn't it a nice cloud? I told you. Now look at this. Moisture is condensed because of low temperature. Water vapor turns into droplets, and we have a cloud, beautiful cloud. And vapor goes down because it is colder and denser than air. I have, oh, it's a really nice cloud. I have one more experiment for you. Property of objects change when we freeze them, right? So since I have liquid nitrogen, let's freeze something. What I want to do, I want to use this banana as a hammer. Can I do that? Sounds good. So I have a nail. I don't need gloves anymore. I have a nail. I have a piece of wood. And I have this banana. Can I use it as a hammer? Let's check. What's going on? It's not a good hammer. Why don't we freeze it? Let me put it in liquid nitrogen and see what happens. Banana goes in liquid nitrogen. And this banana has water in its cells. So, oh, look at this, boiling banana. Of course, it's not banana that boils. It's liquid nitrogen boils around this banana because of huge difference in temperature. We need to wait a little bit when it is cooked. But what do we expect? What do we expect when we cook this banana? It will get hard, right? And hopefully, we will be able to use it as a hammer. My nail is still here. I'm ready. OK. Now, let's take this banana out and see what happens. Never, ever, we give up. Banana, please come out. Aha, uh -huh, I took it out. Now listen. Can you hear that? That's what happened with banana. It's now hard. Can I use it as a hammer? Let's do it. <laughs> Actually, it worked. It's not a perfect hammer. I destroyed it. But yes, I've nailed it. Done.